Hey guys, Jeff Schneider here. I'm gonna teach you a sick chord progression. You're gonna love this. Check this out, guys. Yeah, it's super neo soul, super smooth, and it's pretty easy to play. So let's break it down real quick. Uh, I think the easiest way to think of it is first this um, E minor 11, okay? E minor 11. That's E, G, B, D, F sharp, and A. A nice way to break this down is just to see the, uh, you got this E minor triad there, and then on top of it, you got a D major triad. So E minor triad, D major triad. Um, and the D major is like a whole step below the root, right? So E is the root, and then you're building the D major triad a whole step below, because E is here and a whole step below is D. You guys got that? Okay, so I'm also throwing in a little grace note, going from the E to the F sharp. Nice little color there. Now all you have to do to make this chord progression really rock is move it down a minor third. So now we're on a C sharp minor 11. C sharp, E, G sharp, B, D sharp, and F sharp. Again, we have the C sharp minor triad down there. And then building the major triad a whole step below. B is a whole step below C sharp. So let's review. E minor 11, C sharp minor 11, we're gonna do the same thing, guys. We're moving it down a minor third. B flat minor 11. That's a B flat, D flat, F, A flat, C, and E flat. B flat minor triad under A, A flat major triad. Same grace note there. This is the, uh, the root going to the nine. By the way, this is the one, this is the flat third, that's the five, the flat seven, the nine, and there's the 11. It's really not that complicated of a voicing. It's just going up in thirds. But it sounds so good. Let's go one more. Yeah, now we're on G minor 11. G, B flat, D, F, A, C. G minor under F major. Grace note. And finally, we're back where we started, E minor 11. Let's put it all together. So much you could do with this, so much. You could play this on guitar, you can play it on the piano. Uh, you know, the guitar voicing will probably probably be different, um, but uh, the chord progression works nonetheless. You know, you can do any kind of chord progression where you're taking a chord and you're moving it, moving it up or down, minor thirds, it, it always sounds good. I'm going off on a little tangent here, but just to show you that if you go up or down minor thirds, you really can create any cool chord progression. Uh, check this out with major seven chords. C major seven. E flat major seven, F sharp major seven, A major seven. Now check this out, dominant chords. C dominant, A dominant, F sharp dominant, E flat dominant, C dominant. Something about that minor third interval. You're taking the same exact voicing but moving it down minor thirds. You can go up and go down. Um, but again, just for the, uh, the purposes of this video, try it out with the minor 11 chord. and have some fun with it. Let me know how it goes, guys. If you have questions, leave them down below. Comments, leave them down below. And subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Jeff Schneider. Out.